What's up everyone, it is Dueling Grace for 3985 and today in this video I'm going to be showing you um, let's say, I'd like to call these like my Hot Wheels media cards, I know that makes no sense, what what does media have to do with anything? Well, if you think about it, all these cards actually come from movies, video games, even music, songs, you know. Um, so I'll just go ahead and call them Screen Times because that's like the official name for uh, one of the, um, you know, sets. But yeah, guys, um, I've decided to try and collect as many of these like pop culture slash media, movie cars, whatever as possible um, from across all the years, you know, recent years at least. And yeah, I think I've got about all of them. Um, there are quite a few to get through. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say this, how much this, co this cost to put together. Um, it was like, I don't know, 80 bucks total, uh, which isn't that bad if you think about it because I have like what, I don't know. 20 something cars and that'll be like, you know, three bucks a car or, three, or just over three bucks a car or something like that. Um, so yeah, it wasn't terribly expensive, but you know, it's a little bit of a premium instead of hunting them down myself, even though a lot of these cars are, you know, recent, but some of them are already out of store. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first one, and that would be the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Yeah, this one, actually, I had to buy the 2009, uh release of it, because that's actually the most recent basic version of the car that has come out since. So I paid like, I don't know, eight bucks for this one with shipping, so yeah, shipping's always a, a factor in making these cars a lot more expensive than they need to be. Now here's the description if you want to read it. That's the Ecto-1. The A-Team van. Now this one was actually uh, also a lot pricier than the rest, even though it's only come out in like 2011 or 2012. Um, the uh, the DeLorean time machine, which is coming up after this one, wasn't even close to as much as I paid for this guy, which was like 10 bucks with shipping. But yeah, these cars are really cool. Eventually, they're going to be really collectible in the future, so I'd best hold on to them. Here's the good old time machine from Back to the Future. Yeah, apparently they released the uh, hover mode version of it for the 2017 line, but I wasn't really interested in that. I wanted the actual, you know... Um, car, and this is the most recent one to come out in the basic Hot Wheels line, 2011 new models. Now we're going to start on like the 20, 2015 to 2017 cars, and to start that off would be Angry Birds, um, the Red Bird. Uh, I don't play Angry Birds, so I don't know much about uh, the, the franchise. So, yeah, these cars just look hilariously funny. It's a bit of redundance with that statement, you know, hilariously funny, but hey, whatever. Uh, no description on this one. Oh, that's funny. Now here's the Angry Birds, the Minion Pig. Rolls quite a bit around in his uh, casing. Again, no descriptions to read. This one would be the Mars Rover Curiosity. I actually got this one from a bookstore. Uh, it's a local bookstore here in my area. They just had a bunch of random Hot Wheels up for sale, and this one was like three bucks. So I said, "What the heck? Let's go ahead and pick it up rather than buying it online and paying shit for shipping." And you know, being close to ten dollars. So yeah, three dollars for this guy. Not too bad. Oh wait, there is a description. My bad, guys. There it is for that, and then I'll go ahead and show you the Angry Birds one. Oh, that's weird. Never mind. This guy, the Mars Rover, he's got a description, but Angry Birds doesn't. So, I'm just so confused right now. 
go ahead and put both of those away. All right, now next up is Snoopy. <laughs> yep, Snoopy's got his own car. It's built off of his doghouse. There he is right there. Looks like he's driving something. In reality, he's not. And um, you can tell that these cars are meant to be special because if you look at the plastic, you know, the casing, it actually prevents roll, uh, rolling around in the, um, the case. So, you know, just so it's preserved better. So, yeah, they don't do that for the regular cars. Um, okay, no description on this guy. Really strange, but uh, yeah, next up is the Flintstones Flintmobile. <laughs> yeah, man, this guy. Really funny looking car. Um, believe it or not, it actually does have wheels on the bottom. There's also, um, I think the there were two versions, an older version of this. I think it had like, I don't know, green wheels or something. I can't remember exactly, but the colors were different with the older version. But I chose to get the newer version. It looks more, you know, movie accurate. No description. Alrighty, cool one from Super Mario. Now this car isn't actually from Super Mario, it's just a Hot Wheels car with, uh, you know, Super Mario decals. Um, looks really neat. I don't play on Nintendo, so I, I don't even like Mario, but it's a movie car, so I gotta have them all. Yeah, you see these are called Hot Wheels Screen Time, um, cars inspired by your favorite movies, TV shows, video games, and more. So I'll just go ahead and call these my Hot Wheels Screen Times, even though not all of them came in the Hot Wheels Screen Times, uh, you know, collection. Alright, now this one is the first of our most recent from 2017, and that would be the UNC Warthog from Halo. Um, again, I don't play on Xbox, I'm a PlayStation gamer, so not a big Halo fan, but hey, this looks pretty damn sick, and I've heard some really good things about Halo, so why the heck not? Now this one's got a description, about dang time. Oh, uh, now this one I'm a big fan of. The Fate of the Furious' is Ice Charger, driven by n none other than Dom Toretto. Yeah, this this is one mean machine. I don't know if you guys have seen The Fate of the Furious, but puts on quite a show. Don't want to spoil anything, so I'll leave you to that. Next up is Gas Monkey's Gar Gas Monkey Garage's uh, 1968 Corvette. Now this uh, this show I actually used to watch Gas Monkey on the Discovery Channel, but um, that was just a little bit of a while ago, and then eventually I just stopped because you know life stuff. Don't have much time anymore. Um, and I used to, I used to actually really like this show. Now I don't remember them actually building this car because I must have stopped watching it early. But hey, this is one nice piece of machinery. Gotta love that gold paint job. It's got a little bit of a flaky material sparkle to it. Um, yeah, it is really shiny. Uh, there's the Gas Monkey logo on the back and the license plate even. So yeah, it must have been a really special car for them to actually make a Hot Wheels car uh, out of it, even though it's not you know like a fantasy type um, vehicle. Yeah, that's the Gas Monkey Garage 1968 Corvette. Next up is the Minecart from none other, none other than Minecraft. <laughs> now I really don't like Minecraft. I'm not a fan of it, a fan of it at all. Uh, but this is one you know it's a really cool looking car. It's straight up like a box. 
Uh, it's part of the screen times line anyway, so I had to collect them all. So what the heck's in the collection now? <laughs> what am I going to do about it? Yeah, not much to show here. It's pretty much all the same thing. Huh. Yep, this one doesn't have a description. It's weird. Just says minecart. Now this is what I meant when I said that some of these actually come from songs. <laughs> the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, man. I remember, you know, singing this song back in, like, elementary school for some reason. It was, um, brought up in school. And a lot of people started singing it, and it was just a hit back then. But, yeah, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. They actually made a Yellow Submarine for that song. And that is something else. And look, it's got like eyes. It looks like it's some type of, uh, you know, sea animal. It looks like the wheels are a bit dinged up in there. There they are. Yeah, I, I didn't actually think they'd make one of these, like of all things, a yellow submarine. Again, no description. It's weird. Some of these have descriptions, some of them don't. Ah, oh, now the good old... Mystery machine from I don't even need to tell you, but hey, it's Scooby-Doo now. I'm uh, Scooby-Doo is actually a Considerable part of my childhood. I used to watch it a lot on TV movies, whatever Just the whole you know whole package used to watch a lot of Scooby-Doo Now this I really like this car. I think they did a great job with the mystery machine They did actually make a treasure hunt out of it. I'm not interested in getting treasure hunts that are as expensive as they are um, I just want the regular basic versions and they even made the casing in the shape of the mystery machine which I find very funny but yeah, there you go no description I really don't understand what the consistency with these descriptions is because some of them have them some of them some of them don't it's one heck of a story but next up is the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 or just volume 1 yeah, I am a huge, huge Marvel fan. I, you know, play all of the, um, I'm actually a big fan of the Mar Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series game. I play that. I watch the movies, obviously, and, yeah, I'm a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, so I just had to get this one. And it's even got its own little stand in there. It's pointing downwards in the casing. It's, you know, it's, uh, positioned and made sure to, you know, not roll around because of all the plastic, which is good. It's really cool how they actually made this thing as a Hot Wheels car. Now this one's got a description. Alright. Now for 8 out of 10 we've got the Jetsons family car. Um, from the Jetsons, obviously. Never really watched the, the, the Jetsons, so I don't know much about this um, vehicle. But, uh, it's a nice, you know, interesting car. It's got a little fin on the back, giant bubble. I mean, I recognize the Jetsons and, you know, the whole theme of their show, but, um, I never really watched it. Got those translucent wheels. No description. Now these two are, uh, <laughs> they really make me laugh. First up is the Simpsons family car. Now the Simpsons I used to watch a lot, um, but you know, I just got bored of them eventually. They're on like season 33 or something now, so that's pretty insane. But yeah, they made the Simpsons family car into a Hot Wheels car. I just find that freaking badass. I mean, just look at this thing. Look, they've even got the dent, the dent in the left side. Like it does in the, the movies, sorry, not the movies, but the show, and even on the card. I find that really cool how they got, you know, the accuracy down, they got the Hot Wheels logo on the back. Yeah, they actually made this thing. I just find that just, like, the coolest thing ever. It's pink, it sends out so much. You just gotta pick yourself up one of these if you find them in the stores. But yeah, the Simpsons family car. Nope, oh, no description. 
Next up is also from The Simpsons, The Homer. <laughs> now this one, um, yeah, I didn't watch the episode where this uh, car appeared in, so I, I don't actually know much about it. I had to actually read the description on the back. By the way, this one does have a description. And uh, yeah, this thing is just all sorts of ridiculous. I mean, look at it. Go ahead and read that if you want. Last but not least is the one and only kit car from Knight Rider. Now Knight Rider, um, yeah, I used to come up, come out, come on my television uh, back in the day, and I used to watch it, you know, quite a bit. I really liked this car; it was just so cool. I, mean, I don't even need to explain myself. Just look at it; it's the kit. Night Industries 2000. No description. Perfect. All right. So yeah, guys. With that, I'm gonna end the video. That, that was quite a bit of cars to get through. I know this is a bit of a longer video, 16 minutes and almost a half now. But um, regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, take care, guys. Later.